Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tuesday. Today we have a 4K action camera. We got it from Mango.com for $26. Yeah, it was $26.31 and that included shipping from China. Let's open it up, see what comes with it. These things, claw tie. Looks like some wire ties. What else you get with this? I'd open some of those packages. Looks like some type of clip. That's good. Can I open all of them? Yeah, go ahead and open them all. Um, this looks like a backing, oh, like a tripod holder, um, a backing not for waterproof, <laughs> like a GoPro clip. Um, what else you got there? <laughs> These are like GoPro mounts. Oh, it's a camera mount. I don't know why I'm calling it a GoPro. For mounting to different adapters. Looks like you have a, a bicycle mount for a handlebar. Really? Yeah. You can mount it on your bicycle. And we just got... Got a sticky thing in the back and... Looks like if you want to mount it on something permanently. Uh huh. What else you got? So a couple of sticky things with mounts. Um, go ahead. What else you got? Sticky things. Sticky pads. Um. What is that? Okay. Is that some type of cable? That's weird. I don't know what you do with this stuff. Uh, here's your USB charger adapter. <laughs> Another crazy look. And where would you put this stuff? That's that would go into the sticky pad holder things. I guess you'd, if you want to put it on something permanently. Velcro. Velcro. What's that? Uh, Velcro with the thingy. Oh, never mind. It's not Velcro. Yes, this is Velcro. This is. Oh. Uh, maybe a wrist strap, or I don't know. I can't fit on your head. Uh, it really doesn't come with too much. It does have a waterproof proof housing. Why don't you take the camera out? This way, let me zoom in. So this is what it looks like in the waterproof, water, waterproof housing. Oh, yes, it um, also comes with a remote. You can, oh, that's what that was. That's a wrist strap, that other Velcro thing that you thought. Um, you put that on your wrist and you can start and stop, record, or take photos from your wrist and you can also download an app and watch the video on your iPhone, iPod, or iPad, or Android device. Okay, so this is what the camera looks like. Now I chose, they had different colors like pink, yellow, blue. Um, I thought we'd get the blue one because I think the blue one was actually a dollar cheaper or two dollars cheaper. Um, that was the cheapest one, $26.31 included shipping. And you know what? It's supposed to include a 64 gig uh, mini SD card. Now, the SD card's not in the camera. Um, let's look around for it. Okay, so it was rather deceiving. The, uh, it says 64 gig TF card on the front of the box, as you see here, but that was rather deceiving. It takes up to a 64 gig TF card. The card does not come included, which is fine. It's still a pretty good deal for $26 if the camera works correctly. So 
we're going to charge it up and um, do a review on it, test the audio, test the video. We're probably not going to check the 4K. Um, we're pro probably going to shoot at 1080p at 60 frames a second. All right, so Anna, let's go charge this up and let's take it to Carowinds. Okay. Yeah, so over the past couple of years, we've purchased a couple of action cameras from China. This first one here, um, we paid about $45 for it, and it has great video, really nice video. Um, in low light, in all kinds of light, this would compare, at the time the GoPro 4 was out, and this would compare to the GoPro 4. The quality was really good, the audio not so good. We purchased this one a couple years ago, um, when they first started having 4K cameras. And right off the bat this thing just totally stunk the audio the video it was terrible we didn't pay much for it but it was a waste then a few months ago we purchased this one and it looked real similar to the first one we got um, and this had decent video quality we can use it but the audio on this was amazing this was the first one that we had that had fantastic audio and we paid like $34 for this one. <laughs> and here we have our latest action camera. And this was a total failure. I'm going to show you some of the samples of the photography and the video samples. Yes, yeah, so the first thing we notice, it does not have the video resolution that they claim on the box. It's supposed to have 4K at 30 frames a second. 2.7k at 30 frames a second which I guess it does but it does not have 1080p at 60 frames a second it only has 1080p at 30 frames a second also at 720p it's supposed to have your choice of 120 frames per second 60 frames per second or 30 frames per second and it only has 30 frames per second it doesn't have any of the others um, so the frame rate for all the resolution is only 30 frames per second. So that's a big fail right there. Okay, so then we took the camera outside, took a couple of snapshots, and the shot of Annalisa, the highlights are just totally blown away. Uh, the other shots, the center is out of focus, quality is poor, and anything that has highlights in it is just totally blown away. Even on landscapes, the sky just comes out totally white. Very poor. We did tests on the audio here. You can just barely hear the audio. And here again, you can see the video quality is not that good. Look at the highlights, just totally blown away. We took it to Carowinds. Bright sunlight, look at the sky. Really bad quality, we took it indoors and see how it performed in low light and it was very grainy it just can't handle bright to dark areas the bright areas are just totally blown away and it just performed really poorly in low light and again it just can't handle focusing in the center of the camera and again outdoors bright sunlight I'll let you just judge for yourself. The center of the video, even if it's far away, is still out of focus. Shame on you, Banggood. I purchased several items from Banggood over the years, and um, 
Most of the stuff I got has been good, but this is a total fail. I can't believe that they even sell this product. Even after I made this purchase, you know, I thought $26 is a very good deal if the camera's good, but it's totally useless. And uh, I also noticed that on eBay, the camera is listed for like $15 currently, and that includes shipping from China. So if you want a good deal on a housing, a waterproof housing that will fit your action camera, um, that's the only good thing. The housing fits my other action cameras, and so this is pretty much a, a waste. I'm going to let Banggood know of my displeasure, and I'm going to post this video on their website. Thanks for watching, guys.